Okay guys, here we are with a deck recipe. We are showing off my Colossal Fighter Assault Mode deck recipe. Or better known as my CAM deck. C.A.M deck. Clever, huh? I could put cams and what? Oh man, this is definitely going on YouTube. What the heck happened to your effect, Colossal Fighter Assault Mode? What? Okay, that was... White? Let me see if I can do that again. Hold on. C-A-N-S. That was weird. What? Okay. That... Alright. What? Whatever. That was weird. Um... So... This deck, as you can see, combines the power of a Colossal Fire Assault mode along with the power of 6ms. It is probably not one of my greatest of all decks, but it is there for fun and I do require some assistance with it because it is kind of really tougher than it should be to play this deck, I guess you could say, as there's no tuners for the um, 6ms in here. Like tuners, the 6M tuners, like later on for uh, Dev Pro and all of them, where you make Shans. So, anyways, a little fun story. Since everyone's running a different assault mode deck, I decided I wanted to run one. And here's my classified assault mode deck. And here is how this goes down I wanted to combine the power of these two to make this, and it works pretty well. So, enough talking, let's get into the deck recipe. So, we have two classified assault modes. I did have a Stardust assault mode in here, but I didn't like it because, you know, it's not really in the warrior theme. So, his effect is, is and I like to do this now, you can send two warrior types monsters from your graveyard, or from your deck to the graveyard, so you usually want to go after or this one and one other random one that you want to throw in the grave. I think it's pretty good because this other part of the effect kicks in. All warriors, all monsters in your opponent control. Yeah, so your opponent loses a hundred attack for every warrior type in your graveyard. So it's pretty good, and every assault mode has their other effect where when they're destroyed, but summon their original. In this case, classifier. So you get all those warriors in the grave. This gets destroyed, bring out Colossal Fire, and since they're all warriors in the grave, oh boy, <laughs> you get a really good attack. Uh, it, it's ridiculous if you can do it, but this basically is a burden of the mighty for warriors in a way. Uh, we have two Field Commander Raz. Now, he sometimes is good, sometimes is bad, but he has a mandatory effect, so what it does is when you normal when you normal or special summon him, so let's say you do rounding captain and you special summon this guy out or you just summon him. <laughs> you get his effect and he lets you put a level four or lower warrior type monster on top of your deck. So you usually wanna go let's say Marani Captain. If you have Marani Captains, go for Rose Re Rose Ro yeah, Rose Warrior Revenge, or you go for any 6M, or even if you wanted to, go for a Mortal Bushi. Yeah, I like it. A pretty good card. Just tough to decide when the timing because of 1600 attack. Um, Grandmaster of the 6M. I would be playing 3, but I think 2 is enough since you can only control 1 anyways on the field. Um, if he's destroyed by an opponent's card effect, I figure I'm, I can still do this. Uh, let me show this one real quick. Oh yeah, and you can't choose Field Commander for that one. But um, yeah. So if he's destroyed by a card effect controlled by your opponent, you can send one six M even this back to your hand. That's why this card is pretty broken. But we're not playing just straight up six M's, so. It's not as broken, but if you're playing straight up 6ms, it can be really, really broken. 
and 2100 is really annoying to deal with this. He basically specials himself when you have a sim on the field, and it's really annoying to keep dealing with this. And he's level 5, so if you do like Gale or something, and then you can make Stardust, and you can, well, you can't get this back after because it wasn't destroyed, but you know what I mean. It's pretty annoying. So he's in there. He may be. He has a really good attack. Pretty annoying to deal with, and you can go really quickly with him. In this deck. Great Shogun Shien. I play only one, sadly. I did play two, and it seemed too slow with him in there. With two of them. There is cards that speed his arrival, but as I said, I'm not trying to do all this trying to do console fighters in here too so um also another thing to note since he doesn't say 6 sem it doesn't really count for the 6 sem effects I forgot to mention that usually 6 sem have their effects when there's another 6 samurai monster on the field if they don't have another one like this one it doesn't really count it just brings himself out when there is 6 sems it doesn't really help so but he has a really good effect though because your opponent can only activate one spell or trap if this is on the field um, he does have the six samurai effect though where if it's destroyed you can destroy another six m instead so yeah two hand of the six m uh, usually you just want to use this uh, in conjunction with, all right, you can look at that for a second. So you want to go grant, or no, you summon this, and his effect is to tribute one six sem to destroy a monster on your opponent's side of the field. Wait. Oh, any monster on the field. I did not know that. Okay. Um, but usually you're targeting your opponents, and usually you summon this. Then you special summon this, and since you have two, you can special summon this. And you can use this to destroy a uh, 6 m or not 6 m destroy a monster in the field. Really good combo there. I'm uh, really more broken if you have ultimate offering spamming stuff, but whatever. Um, two marauding captains. Now, if you have two of them on the field face up, no, your opponent can't attack anything that is warrior. Um, also, if he's normal summoned, you can special summon any level four lower monster, which is really kind of broken because you can special summon this out and summon black, get black rose right away, or you can use this for so many other things like six M's. In this deck, in particular, it's usually like the only look at the fact. Okay, it's usually just Iru's, Sanji's, Raya's gets bonus off of this card. So, yep, Rose. Um, not really the best of effects, but she does bring out class fighters really quickly. Um, because she's a level 4 and you just need another level 4 monster. So when this card inflicts battle damage to your opponent, it inflicts 300 damage to your opponent. So she attacks this marshmallow and then attack for whatever reason. And you take they take the damage of that and the 300 extra. I uh, Since that is an effect damage too, I believe, uh, Nightmare Room, whatever, makes it an extra 300. I could be wrong, but I believe that's how that works too, so it's like really kind of good. But it is in there because it's a little Fortuner. And you can use it with Spirit Force. Uh, Mortal Bushi acts like the, it's a Treeborn of the deck. I could just play Treeborn, but I have a lot of traps, so I don't want to do that. Uh, as long as I only have Warriors in the Grave, I can special summon this back to my side of the field, but I have to have no monsters on the field only downside of it but it doesn't matter because you bring this back and do this you have a black rose play but then you can't bring this back the next turn uh there you go if you want to look give you a little bit of time 
Okay. Next we got the 6M Iru. Basically, if you have an R6 M Okay, I'm gonna get this out of the way. Any 6M when you have an R6 M on the field gets their effect. Also if they would be destroyed, they can destroy another 6M instead of themselves for instead of themselves. So if this was hit by armor, Saristica armor you can destroy a hand of the 6M instead of this card. Each 6M has this ability, even Great Shogun Shien. So I'm not going to explain that every single time, but I will explain the part that actually matters. So like Mystic Swordsman, he has the ability to just blow up a face down position, defense position monster right away. This shuts down stuff like Blast Spheres, Death Koalas, and stuff birds don't really matter too much, but you can. Uh, Marshmallows hate this because it just takes care of them easily. Spirit Reapers, all the good stuff. Yep. So he's pretty good. 1700 attack is pretty decent, but if it was 1800, it'd be pretty good. Better. Um. Yeah. That's not really too much of a combo with them. Now I was playing the other. I'll show you the other 6M. I guess I have this in here for whatever reason. I kind of don't like this one at all. But he basically blows up face up spells or traps. That's all he really does. And the problem with that is that unless you're battling a uh, Destiny Board, uh, Destiny Board, Burn, a Swords of Revealing Light. Level limit, stalls, firm tempest, decks, all the good stalling stuff. This card is pretty much useless. This attack is alright, but yeah, it's not really the greatest, so that's why you usually don't play this at more than one, I guess. But I mean, there's probably other things you can do with him. I still would like Yaichi, Yaichi better. But uh, because of some other card choices, I decided to test it out without Yaichi. So, um, yeah, let's keep going. Two Zomjis. He's, uh, basically, his effect anything that battles with this at the end of the damage step gets destroyed. But you must control a 6M face up on the field. So, if it's him and this whatever then uh his effect will go off so pretty good he's a pretty decent effect you can take out some pretty big things um and it does get uh, is it destroyed this bomb destroyed it yeah so it does get blocked by stardust but whatever it's all good and prime materials so bait doll is a little tech card i'm trying at the moment Usually I'd never play this card because, well, first off, uh, if it's not a trap card return it face down, that's the part I kind of don't like about this. Because it doesn't do anything about Book of Moons, Eclipse, and um, MSTs, and all the spells that randomly are in there. However, it does have a great thing where you reveal a target, a face down spell or trap, and. Okay, I'll just read it because it's gonna get confusing if I explain it. Force is activation. If, the trap, if it is a trap card, then negate its effect. If the activation timing is incorrect, and if you do, destroy it. What? Oh, and if you do, destroy it. Okay. So basically, you flip it over if it's a trap, you negate the effect, and if the activation time is wrong, you destroy it, and this card goes back into the deck shuffle. But it's not the greatest because of the spells, and it really kind of hurts in tag duels if you're trying to take out a monster reborn face down that your opponent's trying to pass over to their partner. Brain control will take over a monster. Just face up on your opponent's side of the field. Nothing really special. Burn of the Mighty is a pretty good card. Your opponent loses attack. 
equal to their levels. So like they have a screen that's fading off because the screen savers. No, I'm just kidding. Um, so if they have, let's say Zanji. Zanji is a level 4. You can tell by the thing that's right next to the bottom left of the card. And uh, he would lose 400 attack. So any to equal to their level, they lose 100 attack. Well, that's pretty good. So 1 equals 100, 2 is 200, whatever. I'm not going to say here counting all the way to 12. Double summon. It's kind of hard to run 6 gems without double summon or ultimate offering. Right now it's double summon, but I might take this out for ultimate offering. I don't know. Double summon's a little better because it's a spell card instead of a trap and you don't have to wait to set it and whatever and you might end up losing it because of heavy storm so this is pretty good. So what you do is it acts like two normal summons. I really don't think I need to go through most of it but you can summon out Iru, Zanji, bring out Grandmaster. So Zanji, Iru, bring out Grandmaster, bring out Shogun Shien, all those good stuff. Heavy Storm, destroys all spells and traps. Yeah. Monster Reborn, bring back pretty much anything except this. Wait. Oh yeah, it cannot be special summon except. Uh, yeah, in a little bit. Yeah, it could be something a little bit. Oh my god. Kyle, I'll talk to you in a little bit. Okay. Sorry about that. That was my little brother. Uh, so one mystical space typhoon just destroys a spell or trap. Doesn't negate anything. So yeah, I like this over bait though because it actually destroys a face down no matter what it is. So it's pretty good. Pot of Avarice recycle stuff, so recycle pretty much any of these or sending for monsters. One refer one rota or reinforcement army, bring a level four or lower warrior monster to hand. You can go for this to get more research power. You can go for this, special summon this, to blah blah blah. You can if you want me to explain it, go ahead and write in the comments. Please explain how to use Rota. Just usually just go for this or Marauding Captains. If you have or went through them already, then gosh darn it. Okay, if you already went through them, you can pretty much go for any of these other six sims. Then maybe hand. Hand would be pretty good. Depends on your situation. Warrior returning alive, I don't know about this card yet because it really hasn't helped me. Uh, you could take it out, but I don't know. I'm still seeing if I should play it. Um, so basically you take a warrior and add to your hand. That's basically all this does. So you can add marauding, whatever. I'm not, yeah, I, don't, I don't think I need to explain it too much. Maybe just bring this back, I guess. And it doesn't matter on level, so that is a pretty good, decent thing. Does that actually change? No, it doesn't change what number they are. Okay. But, um... Yeah, just bring back any warrior. Even cost of fighter, but I think it returns the extra deck. Yeah. I think that works in cost of fighters. Uh, two assault mode activates. Uh, you... Um... When you use assault mode activate, you bring out an assault mode monster. And I'll show the other thing. You bring out a slash assault mode monster. And what's it called? You tribute one synchro monster, so in this case you're gonna do the claws of fighters. In other cases it's usually Stardust, Red Dragon, Arcanite, whatever. This one is Claws of Fighter. And assault mode activate is pretty good. It's kinda of harder to draw this out of the deck. 
because there's really no engine to get it, so yeah, you have to kind of get lucky and draw into it. But you usually don't have that trouble because that goes through pretty decently at a decent speed. Compulse, bounce something back to the hand. Deprison, you uh, let's say banish. If a monster, opponent's monster attacks. You banish it. It stops Stardust, it stops Prime Materials, it stops pretty much a lot of things. One thing you want to avoid is Necro Necroface, whatever his name is, because he's not a fun one to banish. <laughs> really not. And Warriors do not like being banished. <laughs> Gosh darn it, hiccups. Sorry about that, guys. Um. One mirror force destroys every one of your opponent's tank position monsters. Now spirit force. Oh, this is an interesting one to explain. And I'm already in the 20 mark, whatever. So you activate this when you're b taking damage. You take no battle damage, and you get to add a warrior type tuner. I thought it actually was a warrior type at first. I'm like, oh, that's pretty good. But then it was said tuner. I'm like, oh, I'm sad. But uh, 1500 or less defense for any graveyard to your hand. So, who do you think you can bring back to that? Yep, Rose Warrior Revenge. Basically, you take no damage and you bring back 1600 beater. And it's a level 4 tuner, so, you know, that's a bonus. Uh, let's see, some extra deck is nothing really special, however, since I'm playing two Marani Captains and three rows whatever's I have plenty of options for two black rows and I don't know I just had dark end in here for some reason uh, so the main thing I have in here is three class fighters and his effect is he gains a hundred attack for every warrior in the grave so and also if he's destroyed by battle you can special summon a warrior type from yeah, either person's graveyard he is not affected by skill drain too much. Of course his attack boost is, but since he has a grave effect, like Stardust, where he would return, it doesn't bug him at all. A little fun fact about Stardust, I run two of them. A little fun fact, if you're running skill drain, it's a cost attribute, so he goes to the grave, then he'll negate once he's in the grave. Skill drain only negates what's on the field. So Stardust is like, haha, skill drain, you can't stop me, and then he'll come right back on the field. Fun facts, just how you might want to know that. Classifiers is like that too, and he'll just come back. And why is that such a good thing? Because your opponent brings out Goyo Guardian, your classifier can point point, and your classifier can come back, or you can bring a Goyo Guardian. You know, fun stuff. And the spamming of capabilities give you a mist worm, so yeah. Uh I don't even know how you would get a mist worm for this. There's probably some weird way you get mist worm. But it's in there. Because it's so good. You can't pass up on mist worms. If you're making something with synchros, at least put a stardust and mist worm and Gataster in there. And a black rose. Don't forget black rose. <laughs> Uh, I don't run Dark Strikes in this one because I do not like Dark Strike at all. Very unfair card. I've used it sometimes for emergency situations, but I really want to actually put more skill into this, so I took him out. Um, right, 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 right. Anything I need to talk about in here? No. And here's my two Yaichis. For now, there's no side deck, but I have these two in here so that I can just replace something in here if I really needed to, because, I don't know, this is a beta, uh, and I usually would just wait till I have the final version of something, but there's really no way I can show off the final, like, it's going to take me so long to figure this out. So, I just wanted to give you guys this deck recipe, and well, let's do a little fun thing where I see how much it would be. Oh wait, I have 20 monsters. Duh, I'm dumb. Okay, so 20 monsters is 
2,000 attack, right? No, yes, yes, that is 2,000 attack. Okay, so 2,000 attack, so he goes to 4,800. Now, if you bring this out, and for some reason, it wouldn't be 20, actually it would be 20 monsters if you had every other monster in the grave for some reason. So, your opponent will be losing 2,000 attack. Jesus Louise. It's pretty broken. Especially with this out on the field. Your opponent has no attack. Okay, so, I'm not boring you guys. I know there's other stuff you can play. I want to just stick to Warriors themes. You can play like Colossus, not Colossals, Chaos Sorcerers, Plague Spreaders, whatever. But, you know. Since it's like his ability goes off of warriors, that's why I have this. It's not the greatest. You probably won't win every duel. It is pretty fun to run in side decks or in tag duels. Just keep in mind, Immortal Bushi, you probably want to switch out for Treeborns or Yachis. And I hope you guys enjoy this deck. I know I enjoyed showing it off to you guys, and I'll catch you guys next time. So go ahead and leave your suggestions, and this is me signing out as soon as I hit stop.